Welcome to the perfect playlist for your event or wedding. I'm going to share with you tips on how to keep your dance floor packed all night long. We have over 25 free playlists on our Spotify to help you navigate your way through adding songs from our list of bangers and weaving them into your playlist or your list of bangers. If you're stuck with maybe finding slow jams or two steps or 90s or sing along songs, simply follow us as we're adding more all the time. Hey, my name is Tristan, DJ Anchor. I'm the owner and operator of Armworth Harmony, and I've helped over 10,000 events plan their parties, not just for DJs and entertainment, but for the success of the evening. I want to help save you time, money, and maybe most importantly, stress. When hiring any service for your party or event or special day, it's not always about price. Value and experience are a huge factor in the success of the outcome. So now let's get to it. I've got the energy. Music selection is the number one thing I teach my DJ team. It's like a chef. Everything starts with the right ingredients, and once you have those, then it depends on the guests, their taste buds, and if they're fe- how they're feeling, and how fancy you could possibly get. I've seen events with over-the-top impressive lighting and sound and video fail epically due to the fact that DJ totally is out of sync with the crowd. Before I get into the free playlist we've created, just for you, I want to share you some of the secret tips on how to be a party science expert. I've been DJing to crowds for a long time, small crowds, big crowds for over 20 years in places like nightclubs, wedding, corporate events, sports like our own Saskatchewan Rush for five years, um, big arenas, also events with no crowd like on the radio and now online streaming on places like Twitch. These tips are always relevant to music programming and a successful event. Preparation is the first thing you want to consider. This can include things like asking the organizer what they think or what their guests want to hear. Knowing the theme of the event, like a rodeo cabaret, where maybe it's probably most likely heavy country music, to a Y2K throwback party where you better have a big folder prepared or a playlist prepared with all the one-hit wonders and hidden gems from those artists and have them ready at a moment's notice. Taking guest requests has never been easier, from old school pen and paper requests to now scannable QR codes with your mobile devices and real-time texting apps. Guests always have and always will have a big impact on what you play and when you play certain songs. I've seen many wedding clients ask the question on their RSVP invites, what song will get you up and dancing? And when they receive them back, this helps them understand what their guests want and then they can make adjustments from what they want and the meeting their guests, into what the bride and groom or the couple would want to hear. And it gives them a really good understanding of that. They can also pass this information off to their DJ, and we can use this as experience to only play the certified party anthems at the right time. Requests can be tricky, and here's a guide to follow as not all requests are created equal. First, if it's a dance party, the song should be fun, upbeat, and, you guessed it, danceable. Certain songs may not may be good to sing along in your car, maybe around the campfire, but as DJs, we know they will clear the dance floor. Secondly, the request should benefit a large portion of the crowd, meaning it's not a song that is just one person's favorite song. It's like serving food. Would most of your guests be happy with steak or prime rib? Probably. Would most of your guests be happy with duck or lamb? Probably not. This doesn't mean you can't spice it up once in a while, but that's usually after you have pulled people out of their seats and then they have trusted you with keeping them on the dance floor. If you spice it up too early or too much, you risk sitting them back down again. And this can mean too much new music, too much old music, too much of one style of music, or just the same kind of vibe for too long. Reading the room is key, and you hear DJs talk about this all the time, and it only comes with experience of physically kind of Uh, taking the information you're seeing real time from dance floors and applying that. Lastly, timing. Timing should be right. It would be out of place to play things like Turn Down For What by Little John at 9 p.m. during the start of a dance, just like it would be out of place to play a slow waltz at 12.30 a.m. when the dance floor is popping. To a degree, the same thing goes down when organizing the flow of your music. Hearing a pop song next to a rap song, next to a country song, next to a rock song is not only jerky in flow, but it confuses your guests. Many people use a three song set approach, meaning you play three songs from one genre and then switch it up to the next style of music. This is in an effort to please multiple people at a big event when there's a diverse crowd in attendance. 
I prefer the mentality of max minus one. That's a DJ Anchor trademark right there. This comes with experience, but what I mean is if you're playing a top 40 set, look at the crowd. Are they dancing? If so, keep going because just because you've played one or two or three or more songs doesn't matter. The key is to recognize the moment you think that if you play one more song in that style, the majority of people will leave the dance floor. And there's often warning signs. If you've already played, say, five country songs, and if, you're, and if you play the sixth one, 50% of people sit down. It might be that eh, it was just a bad song, but it's probably time to switch up the genre, depending if the style... Um, of, the, of the music, but it, it's a good kind of key to understand what's going to be happening. Sometimes mood, mood music or toe tapping music is just fine. There's not always an expectation to dance, but if there is an expect, ex expectation to dance, this may just mean people aren't ready to dance yet. This may, they may need some things like liquid courage. They may need to digest a big meal. They may just want to visit for a while, or they may need a leader to break the socially awkward ice of being the first one on the dance floor. Whoever it is, that could be you. That person could be the DJ, but playing the right song at the right time will exponentially increase your chances of having a pop and dance floor. Now that I've armed you with the knowledge to be a great music selector, you have the tools to make the playlist for you and your guests. Maybe you're asking why. Well, because you know your guests better than I do. Being a professional, I just ask the right questions, but you hold the answers. Now, I promised you the perfect playlist, and now it's time to give it to you. Well, kind of, because the perfect playlist doesn't exist unless it's being operated by somebody. People in dance floors are a living, breathing, organic, and evolving thing. If a breakdance circle or a soul train line starts, but the next song on your Spotify playlist doesn't match the moment, the energy, the vibe, it's gone. You can either delegate somebody to be the button pusher all night on the Spotify playlist, or you can hire a DJ who also will add a lot of other value. A DJ can not only see and adapt to those special moments, they can MC, they can hype up the crowd, they can mix the music continually so there's a flow of music with no Spotify pauses between songs, and the DJ can also provide things like lighting and speakers, expert planning advice, just to name a few. So I want to let you know that if you're maybe kind of feeling the itch or you're that person in your friend circle or family who always has the newest, coolest music or the music that, that people enjoy, it means you are a great selector. And that's a big part to being a great DJ. Or maybe you're a dancer and you have great music for your dance routines and it's kind of in your bones, you feel it. It's kind of a, it's kind of one of those things that you're just kind of born with it or you're not. And if you have that gift, I want to let you know that I've helped tons of DJs through my free DJ school. I offer an eight-week free DJ course. You can hit me up in the description below in this video or in the website or phone number right here on the, the overlay. And you can contact me and I'd love to chat with you about kind of expanding your DJ career from really newbies all the way up to some people who do have some experience with parties and events and just to hone and refine those skills. Or if you want, you can check us out on Spotify. Here's some of our different Spotify playlists that we have. And there's playlists for every occasion, weddings, corporate events, school dances, families, family movie night, uh, top, you know, top all time, slow songs, country songs, rock songs, hip hop songs. So there's something for everybody and we're continually changing these playlists. We're also updating them with new music as it comes out because that's the lifeblood of what we do is the newest, current, coolest hit because music is always forever evolving and changing. So I wanna thank you very much for checking out this video. I would encourage you to like and subscribe and also hit that bell to be notified of the next video we post so you can keep up to date with all things events, music, DJs, Click like, leave a comment, share the post, and make sure you follow and subscribe at Armed With Harmony.